In this video, we'll take a look at the equation BaNO3 2 plus NaCl, that's barium nitrate plus sodium chloride, and figure out whether a precipitate formed in this reaction. So we'll look at the net ionic equation here as a way to do that. First off, if we look at the equation, when we do net ionic equations, we probably should balance the equation. And I can see that I have these two nitrate ions here and just one here. So I'm gonna put a two in front of the NaNO3, now I have two sodium atoms. I'm going to put a two over here. Two sodiums, but two chlorines. That's okay, two chlorines here. Barium, barium. So this is the balanced molecular equation. So if we look at the states for each substance, barium nitrate, if you know your solubility rules, nitrates here, very soluble. I'm going to write A cubed because they're soluble. They'll dissolve in water, dissociate into their ions. NaCl, Compounds with sodium and, and with chlorine, these are both soluble compounds usually. So aqueous, we have another chloride here, aqueous. Then we have another nitrate, so we're gonna write aqueous. So as we look at this, everything's aqueous. Everything's dissolved in water, and because of that, nothing has changed. There's no precipitate, and there's no reaction in this equation. When we talk about net ionic equations, we split up all of these ions to write what we call a complete ionic equation. So let me do that real quick. So here's the complete ionic equation. And then in a net ionic equation, we'd cross out spectator ions. They're ions that are the same on both sides. So I have barium here in the reactant, Ba2 plus the barium ion, have it again. Two nitrates here and here. Two sodium atoms, reactants products. Two chloride ions, reactants products. So everything's crossed out. So when we do that, we say that everything is a spectator ion. There's no new products, no reaction, no precipitate. So that's a good way to check your work. But if everything's aqueous, there's no precipitate, and we don't have any gas or solid being involved, no reaction. This is Dr. B figuring out whether in the equation BaNO3 2 plus NaCl, whether we have a precipitate or not. We do not. Thanks for watching.